the balance within him started to shake, slowly ripping apart the fabric that connected his mind and body. All the time she had confused his instincts had now transformed him into the perfect warrior, and at that moment, a new shaking appeared. Kefla's rage boiled over. <laughs> The student has shown amazing potential in only the last few minutes. Whis couldn't hide his excitement that by subscribing, Goku had tapped into Ultra Instinct, the advanced tactic of the angels. But with every passing second, Kefla was proving something to Whis. Her incredible speed made turning on the notifications something extremely quick and easy to do. Krillin turned to Whis in panic, and with a fake smile on his face and shakiness in his voice, he asked for confirmation that Goku would be alright. He never lied before, and he wasn't going to start now. It was clear they'd have to be like the Anafam, and watch the stories of their favorite animes to the very end. The energy of the legendary Super Saiyan was strong, and like he had once said before about Jiren, Whis was forced to admit that Kefla was far from her full power. From the moment she appeared, Kefla's base form was proving to Goku that she wasn't just any Super Saiyan. However, even as a fused being, the multiplied powers of Kaelin Khalifa should be no match for Goku's god Ki. So why was he feeling that she had once again become the one with the upper hand? The Universe 7 team members were shocked by Whis's words. She wasn't close to her full power. Whis considered both sides. A fused fighter with an energy that he secretly felt had no cap to it at all, or a fighter who was still not healed enough to reach the form he needed most. The answer was pretty obvious, but he felt a small presence in Goku that made him a bit curious. It was still too early to see who would end up the winner at the end, and so he encouraged the team to observe the fight some more. The potential Goku had to push himself one step further had been showing up constantly this entire fight, and as if Goku could hear Whis's thoughts, that potential awoken again. Kefla's speed was incredible, and after finding a good opening, his energy beam was pushed away with Kefla's right hand alone. The difference in their power could be seen just by the expression on their faces. Kefla smiled confidently as she charged at her opponent, whose face was full of confusion and fear. His body hit the stage, but when he stood, his expression had changed. His smile had just as much confidence as Kefla's. His red hair started to change, and a blue aura began to seep out. So he was able to reach Super Saiyan Blue, huh? No matter. Kefla was sure she could handle it. There was no doubt that her legendary power was hard at work. To her, it made no difference if he had unlocked the angel's special technique or not. His new form still would be no match, but once again, the smile on Goku's face had meaning behind it. He remembered very well the level of confidence Fusion provided, and he could see it getting to her head. With his key now in perfect control, he was ready to finally fight her at full power. The time to wipe that smile off her pretty little face had come. She had no idea what happened. One second she was laughing at her enemy, and the next her face was hitting his fist. Her anger pushed up harder as her body attacked him back. For a moment, the two fighters seemed equal. The force of each other's blows spread destructive waves of energy across the entire stage. Those fighting nearby were forced to stop in their tracks. First Goku versus Jiren, and now Goku versus Kefla? Was there any end to this man's power? The feeling of Super Saiyan Blue was peaceful to him. It was comforting and familiar, like he had made it home, and that peace forced power to surge throughout his body. She couldn't believe what was happening. Goku's sudden bursts of energy created harder and faster hits. Was she really getting pushed back? The rage of a Saiyan warrior boiled. This she would not allow. If Goku wanted to show his secret energy, then she would show hers as well. She felt the power of her base form and pushed it even higher. Her hair spread out. The color changed from black to green. This was her Super Saiyan form. Whis had been witnessing a roller coaster of emotions from inside the stands. Puddles of water were almost drowning the feet of the eliminated Universe 7 fighters. What once had been sweat dripping down their faces had turned to tears of joy at the sight of Goku's strongest form complete. But now they were forced to face a very sad truth. Their tears of of joy turned back to sweat as Whis provided them with an answer. If they thought his fight with Jiren had been hard, they were about to have another very unpleasant experience. At least back then he had accessed Ultra Instinct, but Whis was positive this had only been nothing but luck. Even as excited as he had gotten, he realized no mortal could obtain this tactic of the angels so easily. What they had seen earlier was the simple proof of Goku's vast potential for his future, a potential that Whis was ready to fine tune. But Krillin had known Goku for much longer than Whis, and there were some things he understood that Whis wasn't yet able to to fully see. He knew Goku would surprise him, and Whis was about to learn that lesson. Though Goku's face lit up with shock, the only thing he could feel was excitement. Her cocky smile had returned, and their battle began again. The energy generated between the fists of these two people began ripping cracks into the stage. Goku suddenly moved. Did he tell himself to do that? Kefla's smile had turned to frustration. How had she missed that simple blow? Goku smiled as he realized what was going on. His confidence was bursting with the knowledge that he was starting to control the special technique of the angels, but his body hit the 
stage again. Where had that come from? He looked up above him. Kayfo stood there laughing. Now what was he going to do against her? He looked at her and asked if she really wanted to know the answer. The slick sound of her voice saying sure made him smile. The red aura now shone brightly around his original blue one. Kaioken times 20 had successfully been reached again. The movement of her attacks were getting easier to read. Legendary or not, her power wasn't the one that was on his mind. Goku felt his last opponent's energy begin to stir. Was Jiren coming out of meditation? So many thoughts started to fill his mind, and Whis noticed Goku's huge mistake. But more than that, it was also proof that something unbelievable and incredible was on its way again. Goku was focusing on Jiren, picturing their rematch instead of watching the opponent he currently was fighting. What Whis noticed was happening to Goku was becoming hard to miss. The balance within him started to shake, slowly ripping apart the fabric that connected his mind and body. All the time she had confused his instincts had now transformed him into the perfect warrior. And at that moment, a new shaking appeared. Kefla's rage boiled over. She was done with all his arrogance. Until he reached Kaioken times 20, she had been able to perfectly match his strength. But he was crazy if he thought she was going to give up now. Her hair grew just a little longer. Her eyebrows became a bit more noticeable. And electricity surrounded her body. Now Goku had to deal with a legendary Super Saiyan 2, Kefla. The angrier she had gotten, the more excitement built up in Whis. He had tried his best to push it away, but now he no longer could. The evidence was clear. Even with Kefla's new form revealed, Goku's ability to dodge had gotten stronger than before. It was only a matter of minutes, a matter of hits, before it would reappear. Kefla's attacks were getting sloppy the more Goku seemed detached, like he wasn't really interested in their fight anymore. Had he really just used her legendary power to improve only himself? Hadn't he promised to teach Khalifa how to go Super Saiyan 3? But that wasn't the case at all. Goku's hair suddenly went black. Kefla stopped mid-attack. Had he accepted her new form was too hard to beat? The Universe 7 team members in the stands got up. What was he doing? Was he hurt? Kefla overconfidently asked him what was wrong. But when Goku just stood there without giving her any answer, she turned her anger into a beam of energy and blasted it straight towards him. But he dodged. How did he do that with his face turned away from her? Whis giggled and closed his eyes. Softly, he began to speak. Goku, you really have learned Ultra Instinct. Beerus turned faster than the speed of light towards Whis and demanded him to repeat what he had just said. Goku's teammates were in disbelief. Hadn't Whis just told them that Goku couldn't get the angel's tactic? Before getting serious, Whis sarcastically wondered if that's what he had really said. But quickly, he warned the others not to get their hopes up just yet. Logically, it made absolutely no sense for a mortal to obtain this kind of level. But as he pointed out the change in Goku's now silvery eyes, Whis explained he had another feeling. Kefla was about to break a limit, and by the feel of the energy surging through her at that exact moment, he feared she would rival even Goku's ultra instinct. The simple truth was that Kefla wasn't just powerful because of Kale's legendary power. She also was made from Khalifa, who could adapt her surroundings faster than anyone Whis had ever seen before. But it still didn't make sense how these Saiyans learned so quickly. They had only ever trained their base forms before meeting the Universe 7 Saiyans. Sure, they were from different universes and had completely different ways of living. However, 